gals, you're probably thinking, finally another Doc Martin video. And I'm going to show you a new box of some goodies that maybe I like, maybe I don't like. All right, you're probably seen by the thumbnail and title, but these are the George 2 Doc Martens and I got them in this like olivey green color. That price is insane. And I actually found them on sale for like, 180 but honestly I don't love buying Doc Martens new but I just could not resist I needed one of you guys to just be like no just just don't do it yeah I got them and I think I'm gonna return them so yeah before I do that I thought I would talk about them first so let's open the box and we have these bad boys they are super cute not gonna lie I do think they are beautiful shoes and they look so good on everyone I've seen on like TikTok and Instagram. I just love the green color, but I'm also going to tell you what I don't love about them. <laughs> now, if you look online and you look in the reviews, pretty much everyone says that these are just running so damn small. I actually had the chance to try on some of these at work because we just happened to have them and they were actually a UK 7. Now, for reference, I'm normally a UK 6 in all my docks and actually in sandals, I'm a UK 5 sometimes because sometimes they run a bit large. But these, these just run really god damn small. Like even the UK 7 felt a bit like a stretch. What I ended up getting was actually a UK 6 because that's just what they had left in the sale and I was just trying to see if it worked and yes they do work but there's, there's a lot of problems with these shoes and most of these problems come with this very attractive velcro strap at the back honestly I just hate the velcro strap it just looks tacky for like a very expensive shoe like the buckle looks so nice here and everything and then we got we got velcro at the back for some reason I know it's good for convenience you can just slap it off slap it on super cool but it turns out that most people are finding that the strap is made too short like to be able to strap your leg in properly you kind of need to purchase a bigger size because this strap just does not reach far enough around the back of your ankle now luckily for me it does actually fit well that's not my problem i'm just letting you know that a lot of people have had problems with that my problem is it just simply does not look as cute with this strap. Mainly because I've seen actually the full potential of what the shoe could look like. If you look up the Doc Martin George's Made in England, they have a buckle at the back and they just look so much classier and they have so many different colors that have come out. I've seen green, I've seen purple, I've seen blue, I've seen pink and they just look so pretty. They just look really well put together. Once you see those, it's hard to ever go back to this even though these are still such a cute shoe now just in case you want to look at it a bit closer we have this buckle here which is super cute like imagine if that was also there and we got this like suede texture the leather here and to be honest i thought that these shoes would be a little more green but yeah they're more of a beigey color my other problem is also a personal problem is i don't really know how to style these so in the next section, I'm going to attempt to style them, but I just, I don't even think I have the right color socks for this. I think it looks good with green socks. And it works for a girl who wears a lot of like browns and beiges, I think, but I wear a lot of bright colors. I'll see if I can figure out, why do I say I wear a lot of bright colors? I'm literally wearing beige right now. Anyways, personally, it's not the right color for me, even though I love green so much. This isn't a hate video, but this is just like, what I'm finding with these shoes, which I didn't realize before I bought them, is that I don't think I like having my heel out. I think the only way I'd wear these shoes is with a pair of socks. Yeah, I think I'd probably have the problem with the Made in England ones too, so I have to keep that in mind if I ever get them. It just feels odd having the back of your leg out with the rest of it covered, but I've never been a Birkenstock Boston girl, even though, you know, I would love some. This is like a whole new styling challenge that I haven't come across. So speaking of styling how about we just go ahead and see what I can do with these bad boys and yeah for this first look I tried to keep it really neutral and like with the tones of the shoes very boho I decided to add this brown gander jacket but honestly I'm not convinced I thrifted this dress quite a while ago in America and honestly I feel like it goes with every pair of my dogs which is why I'm thinking it kind of works 
Okay, we're kind of getting somewhere with this outfit. I really do like this look. I got this black oversized dress, which is kind of a bit muted, and I haven't actually seen many people style these shoes with darker clothing, so I think this was a success. I also added this shrug style cardigan thing that's really just sleeves, but um, it goes with the same colors as the socks and the shoes, so it kind of pulls it all together. I recently thrifted this corduroy maxi skirt and it's literally my favorite item in my closet right now, although I did split the back of it recently from wearing it too much. But luckily my Nana fixed that and obviously I added this jacket again because I really think it fits the vibes of the shoes. Okay, here we got some double denim and I'm not convinced by this outfit. I think it has something to do with the fact that the jeans are super short and it's making me look really dorky with these socks and sandals. So I recently went to Splendor in the Grass and I wore this white matching set which I got everyone to draw on. So I thought I would style it with this look. It's kind of a bit much and although I love the outfit, I don't know if these are the right shoes for this look. Now something like this would look awesome with these shoes but it currently is too short for me so not today. <laughs> this look is super casual just with some black jeans and also this corduroy jacket but honestly when I wear jeans like this I feel like I haven't actually styled a cool enough outfit but sometimes the most casual outfits are the coolest. Then of course I couldn't leave out a overalls outfit, which I tend to do with every single video, and I decided to go with these denim overalls, which honestly I've been living in lately. So I am still not convinced on these bad boys. Um, yeah, I struggle to really make those outfits, so let me know how you would style them, but uh, yes. I think I'm going to return them. But yeah, let me know what you think of these bad boys. I really like them on other people, just not me. Um, do you have them? What's your sizing preferences? I'm sure it'll be very interesting for people who are wanting to buy them to read the things in the comments. Yeah, I do still love them, but I am going to return them. I hope you enjoyed this video. These have been the Docman Georges. I have been the Docman Jen. <laughs> and hopefully I'm gonna have more and more videos come out so see me each week um, until next time keep wondering